the, the, the hello world of car hacking is unlocking the doors. My name's Aaron Cornelius. I work, I'm a senior security researcher for Grimm. We do cybersecurity research. It was intended as a reliable communications method. It's not, it doesn't have any security methods in it. It wasn't meant to have any security methods in it. Almost every car that you get now, 2018 or newer, almost all of these have a cellular modem in them. It's typically called a telematics unit and it is relaying a bunch of information up to a cloud server somewhere, like where you are, uh, what your VIN number is, speed, and all those sorts of things. What it has also done is it's made every car into essentially a very expensive rolling IoT device. There's been some talks here already uh, of people who have talked about like add-on security services that can get added onto a car, and those aftermarket security devices do very similar things, right? They say, oh, well, if somebody steals your car, we can immobilize it, right? Well, what that also means is that device has the ability to interact with the vehicle bus. If it's, there's ways to bypass the security of that system, it makes your vehicle more easily accessible or trackable. So what are the overall implications of it? It's accelerated the need to make sure that these systems are secure. You can argue that CAN bus is not a security or an insecurity if you have a vehicle that does not have a connection to the internet. Because in that case, you need to actually physically touch the bus to actually make the vehicle do anything malicious, right? If you have physical access to a car, there's a lot of things you could do that would be bad. You could like cut the brake lines. But if you have access remotely to that vehicle, then that means that from that remote access, you can then pivot into the CAN bus and impact the car. It makes it necessary that we have security of the, of the systems that are communicating with the car itself. It needs to be ways developed to detect if somebody is doing something malicious to a vehicle, it means that we need the ability to go after the fact and do a forensic uh, investigation of the ECU and the vehicle bus to figure out if something bad has happened. The future of vehicles and security is hard to predict. The field is very new. Um, effectively, it's been something that's grown over the last four years. The, the, University of Washington first published their paper in 2012, if my memory serves. Uh, so as a industry, it is still very fresh. It's going to be difficult, be difficult to say what's next. But I think over there, update is probably uh, where things are going. It does also present a potential security risk, because if you have the ability to update the firmware of the vehicle over the air, it means if there are flaws in that system, somebody can remotely reprogram your vehicle over the air.